A diene is a molecule that contains two carbon-carbon double bonds. That should make sense from its name. Di is the prefix that we use to represent two, and ene is the suffix that we use to represent alkene, which is the functional group that contains carbon-carbon double bonds. There are three different types of dienes, and in this video, I'm going to be defining each of these three types and providing you with some examples of each, starting with a conjugated diene. A conjugated diene is a molecule that has the carbon-carbon double bonds separated from each other by exactly one single bond. No more than one single bond, no less than one single bond. So here would be an example of a conjugated diene. The two double bonds in the molecule are separated from each other by exactly one carbon-carbon double bond. We could have conjugated dienes in rings. So this would be an example of a cyclic conjugated diene. The two double bonds are separated from each other by exactly one single bond. And it doesn't matter that on this side of the ring they're separated by more. And what matters is the adjacent relationship in this portion of the molecule right here. We also see that conjugated dienes are not limited to just carbon-carbon double bonds, although this is definitely the most common type that we encounter in organic chemistry textbook problems, things like that. But this would be another example of a conjugated diene. This is a carbon-carbon and carbon-oxygen double bond separated by one single bond. So that would classify as a conjugated diene as well. We could also have a triple bond in this as well, and it would still be classified as conjugated. What really matters is that the multiple bonds are separated by exactly one single bond. Now, if there is more than one carbon-carbon single bond in between our double bonds, we refer to that as an isolated diene. So in an isolated diene, our carbon-carbon double bonds are separated by two or more carbon-carbon single bonds. Um, so here would be some examples of isolated dienes. Here in this molecule, the double bonds are separated from each other by exactly two single bonds. This would be a cyclic isolated diene. So between the two double bonds, no matter which way you go around the ring, there are two single bonds in between the two double bonds. And if we want to continue using something with a carbon-oxygen double bond, it could go like this. That would be an isolated diene, again, because we have two single bonds separating the carbon-carbon or carbon-carbon and carbon-oxygen double bond. Last but not least, we have the cumulated diene. And the cumulated diene is one where the double bonds are not separated from each other. So this is one where the carbon-carbon double bonds are directly adjacent to each other or in series or in sequence not separated by anything. These are a little bit harder to draw in line structure because they just look kind of awkward to me in line structure. So I'm gonna switch to condensed notation to represent some cumulated dienes. So this would be one example of a cumulated diene. We've got the double bonds that are just stacked one right after each other. There is no separation between the two of them. I'm gonna draw one in a ring. Um, to me, again, this looks really awkward. We've got our double bonds that are just directly adjacent to each other without any kind of separation in between the two of them. The different types of dienes have different levels of stability. The conjugated diene is the most stable type of diene. Um, this is because that conjugated diene is stabilized by resonance and inductive effects. The cumulated diene is the least stable. There's a lot of um, bond, bad bond angles in these molecules and cumulated dienes. Uh, and the isolated diene is just somewhere in the middle in terms of stability of, of the types of dienes.